Hello, welcome to another debate by Optic Street. I'm Masha. I'm Taylor. Hello. Today we'll debate about where are binoculars made. Oh, that's a question yeah. which pops out many times. Many times, yeah. <laughs> we basically have two continents that still produce binoculars. We have Europe and Asia. Yeah. So let's start with Asia, which is. Yeah, with Asia is like. Uh, mm, we have a couple of countries, but let's start with the biggest one, yeah. which is the, I would say, the world factory, China. <laughs> uh, so the production of binoculars in China is really widespread. Yeah. Uh, what is interesting is that there is almost no Chinese brands which are available on the European and American markets. Yeah. Um, There's only one, I think, OneGuard. Exactly, OneGuard, yeah, I forgot about them. Yeah, yeah because they have an uh, HQ, the headquarters in China, yeah. But I cannot remember any no, other. No other ones. Yeah. So all other uh, production facilities in China produce OEM products for other brands. Yeah. Like Delta Optical, um, GPO. GPO, Boris, Vortex, Leupold, yeah. Bushnell. Uh, also famous brands like uh, they produce the cheapest, most affordable models for, for size. Yeah. What is common with Chinese binoculars is that they are usually very affordable. Yeah, in the lower price classes, yeah. yeah I think 500 euros Top, there. Yeah. yeah, there are some where is the line where, uh, honestly speaking, everything below is made in China. Yeah. What is also common or true is that in the last decades, the quality of Chinese binoculars went up yeah. steeply. I think mm -hmm. that made in China has like a, is like a synonym for bad quality optics, but it's not true. Not true anymore, no. No. It's like when you're buying an iPhone, you don't think, okay, it's made in China. Yeah. <laughs> you're buying an iPhone. And this is happening slowly also in, in the segment of binoculars. Yeah. But okay, if we go China as the most affordable of Asian binoculars, let's go on the other side to the most expensive yeah. Asian binoculars. We have Japan here. Yeah. Japan has some really big producers like Nikon, yeah. Canon, Pen Pentax. They all also produce cameras, so they are yeah. really big companies. And they know how to produce optical products. Yeah, yeah. they're the really high quality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also have some OEM uh, producers. producers. Yeah. Honestly speaking, if you look at the best American brands, they usually have the models that yeah. affordable series are always made in China. The most expensive series are made in Japan. Japan. Yeah. Um, and it's like a rule. <laughs> almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see like um, 1,000 euros vortex razor you immediately know yeah. that's that's a japanese product yeah um i also forgot about the big one in the field of optics it's citron yeah and kova and kova yeah kova is for the birders it's like really popular brand yeah um we have some other countries in asia that produce yeah um optics in the recent years i think it's like in the last five years yeah like yeah. Uh, um, myanmar formerly known as Burma, we, their products are like popping up from yeah. time to time. We see it normally they have no brands of their own. They are only OEM producers, but we, we saw one Vortex made in um, Burma, yeah. Kales, yeah. Rangefinder from Kales is made in Myanmar. OneGuard, I think also. OneGuard also, yeah. So slowly. Yeah. Philippines. Philippines is big. Yeah. They, they have some kind of agreements with, uh, uh, US. with the US regarding yeah. taxes or something like that, and their production is booming. Yeah. Also some Nikon models and others are made in uh, Philippines. And South Korea. But South Korea, it's getting smaller and smaller in terms yeah. of binoculars. Mm. Nowadays, do they... I haven't seen them for a while. Mm. I do know that maybe 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I saw uh, Bushnell or Bushnell uh, binoculars made in South Korea. Mm -hmm. I think at least so. Um, okay, if I think we covered Asia, yeah? Asia, yeah. That's Let's it. go to other continents which used to produce binoculars not that yeah. much anymore. United States, they yeah. did their production in the past, but now they only outsource to Asia. Yeah. L like you said, the more high, high quality products are in, made from, uh, made in Japan and more affordable in China. True. With all American brands. Yeah. Honestly speaking, there is not a single American brand that would have in-house 
made binoculars in, yeah. in the US. They're always assembled in the US and made in, uh, I mean, yeah. assembled in Asia and designed in US. Yeah, they, they have written this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who knows if it's true. Um, okay, what about if we talk about US, let's go to the other extreme, mm -hmm. Russia. <laughs> Russia. Russia had, had the bigger production in the past. I think now yeah. they only produce more affordable optics. And really small numbers. Yeah. They have like one producer, Baigish, I know, which is, you can see them from time to time on the European market, but... Yeah. Uh, They're not popular yeah, no. in Europe. Only older models. Yeah. Okay, so we should continue with European brands. Eh? Yeah, let's start with some smaller ones like mm -hmm. Bosnia. Yes, Raksareva. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they produce one single model, which is the same since yeah. 70s. It's a military <laughs> model, a bulky one. Not so popular no, now. No, no. Uh, it is popular now with, uh, I would say, with collectors and so on. Not yeah, as yeah. much for use, but to have some military hardware. And I think it's still produced. Um, oh. Romania. Yeah. Very similar story. IOR. Yeah. They are mostly known for uh, tactical rifle Rifles scopes. scopes. True. Uh, but they do, do have one binoculars, right? The same, like yeah. old military model, yeah. which didn't change from the 70s. And it was sourced, I would say, from technologies from Carl's ICA and I at that time. They're also not that popular. I haven't seen no. them yet. No. Where else in Europe? Uh, we have then Czech Republic, which is Meopta. one big producer. Yeah. Yeah. And with Meopta, it's really funny. They are the biggest optical producer in Europe. But they are one of the few, if not almost the only, OEM producer of optics in Europe. So mm -hmm. they produce mostly components, prisms and uh, uh, lenses for other brands. I would say that maybe they produce also the whole products and they have their own brand also, yeah, yeah. Meopta. And they have uh, Meostar B1 series and Meopro series and Optica HD series and Optica HD has some parts which are not made in Czech Republic. Everything else is made in inclusively, yeah. exclusively in Czech Republic in-house. So I do think that their production is much bigger than their and their brand awareness on the market. Yeah. Um, They're also producing for other fields, right? Yeah. Medicine. Medicine, military, yeah. everything. When I was there, please check our factory tour of my Opta. It's, it's so huge that when you compare them with, with other brands uh, of sport optics in Europe, it's really hard to compare because they have like 2,500 employees. It's, it's a huge production facility. Mm -hmm. um, and when we speak about small countries, let's continue with Portugal. Yeah, Portugal is, um, Leica does some production in Portugal. Basically mm -hmm. the only producer in, I think, Portugal. The is only, there, yeah. yeah. Uh, they are producing from mid 70s, I think. 74, or something like that. Yeah. They formed a factory near Porto. Yeah. And they, I think most uh, laser range finding uh, products are made in Portugal from by Leica. Yeah. Also some binoculars. Trinovit. Trinovit, yeah. And the compact models. Yeah. All pocket models, uh, not compact, pocket models are also made in, in Portugal. Yeah. So only Leica does production in Portugal. And we don't have to, we have to say that the quality of production is on the same level as yeah, uh, the German. in Germany. So it's, they also claim that because it's the same company, the same rules, the same everything. Uh, yeah. And from what we have seen, it's basically the same. Yeah, if there's you get no a, difference. Yeah. They also produce really expensive cameras in Portugal and yeah. they invest so much. I think that they, uh, I think they reinvested into this factory already three times or something like that. So mm -hmm. now currently it has 600 people employed and it's completely new since 2016 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a top notch, high quality production. Yeah. And this gives us, a, I would say, a passage to Germany. To Germany, to yeah. the big Germany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they are producing high quality optics, uh, binoculars. Yeah. Um, we have some big brands here like Leica, as I said, uh, Zeiss, mm -hmm. Steiner, Minox, Blaser, yeah. which is a new uh, producer of optics, um, Optolit, 
Yeah, the old one, Octolit, yeah. is still one of the oldest, and they really produce small amounts of binoculars, but they produce them in-house in Germany. Eh? Yeah. While for some of those brands, we already yeah. mentioned that if you're buying Noctivit, if you're buying Ultravit, if you're buying Duovit, they're made in Germany. Everything else from Leica is made in, in Portugal. Portugal, yeah. But let's say if you go to Minox, the story yeah. is a little bit, it's similar in a way, but still different. Yeah, yeah? like Leica, they have their uh, high quality products made in Europe mm -hmm. and then more affordable models made in Asia, either Japan or uh, China. The same goes for Zeiss. They have Terra series made yeah. in China. But um, everything else is made in Germany, yeah? Everything else, yeah, made in Europe, Germany, yeah. From Minox, it's uh, H... Uh, H uh, uh, X-Active and x Light are yeah. made, uh, are series made in um, Asia and like this one X-HD is made in Germany. Mm -hmm. So yeah, more affordable models made in Asia, yeah. Yeah, and Blazer does everything in, in, in Germany. Germany. Yeah. Uh, Steiner. Steiner does everything above 300 euros in Germany, in Germany yeah. and all Poro models, even if the Poro model is cheaper than 300 euros, it's still made in Germany, uh -huh. while roof prism models, I would say below 300 euros, they are outsourcing some yeah. of them from, from Asia. Um, GPO does everything in either in Japan or in yeah, China. They are German brand, but they are made, make everything in Asia, yeah. Yeah. I uh, think that's it. That's it for, for Germany. Germany. Yeah. Then you didn't. I didn't mention Swarovski. Yeah. <laughs> also so, the big player. Yeah. When when we speak about top tier of binoculars, there are more or less we always come to the same three brands. Yeah. Leica, Zeiss, Swarovski. It's almost impossible to say which one is better because it's always a question of time. Yeah. Because when Swarovski comes out with a model, which is the best in the world, then couple of years afterwards, Leica does the best model in the yeah. world and then size and they, they exchange themselves on the first place. Uh, well, when you speak about Austria, the Austria has two brands. Swarovski normally is the most famous one. They're also one of the rare producers that does everything in-house in one country. They do mm -hmm. everything in Austria because size does the most affordable model in China, yeah, in, in um, the Terra. Leica does some of the production in, in Portugal. Portugal. Uh, you mentioned all the rest. The Blazer is the only one which also does everything mm -hmm. in, in Germany. And Swarovski in this regard is really special because they even have a school inside of their factory. They have around 1,000 employees. And youngsters, they come to school and when they finish after three to five years, um, a portion of them gets a job in Swarovski yeah. and they continue uh, to work there. Um, nothing the less, if you're into binoculars, you know what Swarovski optic means. Yeah. It's top tier. And the other brand from Austria is Kales. They used to produce binoculars in Austria. Uh, they were called just uh, Kales. Helia. Helia, yeah. yeah. Helia, 8 by 42 and 10 by 42 yeah. And now they have the same name, but now they outsource their binoculars to Japan. Yeah. And they're range finding binoculars from China. So they adopted the same business model or the American brands. Even though I think that most of the people who are searching for where binoculars made think that that is important. Yeah. While uh, the American brands, they don't produce anything at home. Yeah. But when Carlos says, okay, we will outsource some binoculars, some <laughs> hardcore fans say, oh, why? Well, because the whole world is doing this. Yeah. And you can, I mean, it's really hard to get affordable binoculars made in Europe. Oh, it's almost impossible. It's yeah. Everything it starts at around 1,000 euros. Yeah. Maybe Minox, it's 800. Yeah. And that's it. Everything else, uh, what is cheaper is either made in, if it's cheaper, well, okay, you get my Opta, which is cheaper, and it's made in Europe. Yeah. But when okay. we speak about Austria and Germany, no. 1,000 euros is, is the limit. Did yeah. we cover? all the countries i think yeah yeah thank you for watching if you found this video useful give us a like and subscribe to our youtube channel see you next time bye see you bye